Hello, how's it going everyone? I wanted to do a quick demo of how to use React Motion. This is a little app I've got, a weather app that I'm going to be using in an upcoming React Fundamentals workshop that I'm running. And when you click this little square here, you're going to see slide in, oh yeah, this little weather uh, forecast here that we've got sort of the upcoming weather for the next week. In Canada, we talk about the weather a lot because as you can see, it's going to be minus 10 tomorrow, which is great. All right, so here we're going to be controlling this motion here using React Motion. So let's go over to a version of the app that doesn't have that built in yet. And if you load the page, it's just showing up by default. I click this, nothing happens. And what's actually happening when I click this little square here is that it is toggling some state. So if I come here, uh, show forecast is false. I click it, it's true, back to false, back to true, etc. So we're going to be using that state to control whether this little forecast is uh, slid in or out, opacity in or out. So let's get going on how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do after you've installed the correct package here, React Motion, is we need to import a couple things. We're going to be importing a component called motion and a function called spring. And that will be from React Motion. Cool. So let's scroll down. Uh, there's a lot here, but you don't need to really know. It's not pertinent to this conversation. So we're going to come and we're going to be animating this forecast component here. So what we'll do is we'll wrap the motion component around this. And boom, big fat air. All right. So what we need to do with motion is we need to give it a couple props and then change how we're wrapping it around this forecast. So the first prop we need to give is the default style. It is an object. And this is the default or initial value of all of the properties we're going to animate. So let's say that we're going to animate something called X, which will begin at minus 200, uh, which would be like off to the left of the screen, 200 pixels, we'll say. And we're going to be animating the opacity, which will start at zero. The next thing we need to do is tell it basically where to animate those default values to. So we do that with a, with a prop called style. And we're going to, same thing, we're going to change the X and we're going to now use this spring function for the first time. So for now, we're just going to hard code it that when the page loads, it will be at 200 and we want it to spring over or like to animate over uh, to zero, which would be like on the screen where it's supposed to, supposed to be. And we want to animate the opacity as well to one. So we save that. Uh, Prettier will do its thing. It's formatted nicely now. And you'll see that we still have this big fat error. And that's because what we need to pass to the motion component isn't another component, but instead a function. So we'll embed this here and we'll do an arrow function, which will return a value right away. So that's why these parentheses here. And what it's going to receive, we can call style. And it's basically this object at whatever point in the animation. So when it first loads, it will be minus 200, and then it will rapidly change towards zero because that's what we've told it to go to. And then what we return is this forecast component here. So if I load the page, it should work again, which is nice, but we're not using our animated values yet. So what we're going to do here is some inline styling. And typically I find that's the best way to, to use the animate, the react motion styles. So we're going to, let's do the opacity first. So we're going to say we want the opacity's value to be equal to the style, which is this whole thing here, opacity. Is it working? I have no clue. 
So maybe we can try this. Let's just uh, print out to the screen the style.opacity so we can see what its value is. All right, it's messing up. I obviously did something wrong. I did, awesome. I didn't spring it, which means it just right away went from zero to one with no animation at all. Oh man. Ah, what is wrong? Okay, we're back. Spring to the value of one. Now when this thing loads, it's gonna fade in. It happens really quickly, but you can see this number here going from zero to one. It's fading in quickly. You can change how quickly it goes by passing another object, object to this function and you pass one thing called stiffness and another attribute called damping, which comes from like physics, I think. Don't really know. Um, but we're just gonna stick with the default. So we can remove this here. We're happy that it's, wor it's working now. You can see it fade in. So let's control it sliding in from the left. So what we're gonna do to control that, we've got this X value here, which is animating from minus 200 springing to zero. And we're gonna use transform. And the value here is gonna be transform X. And what we're gonna pass is we're going to embed our style.x and then we'll just put in pixels. So this is like you're writing CSS here. And now I load the page and it doesn't work. And that's because it's not transform X, it's translate X. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. All right, so it's fading in, it's sliding in, but this is still doing nothing. So all we need to do to fix that is we need to not always tell it to be zero and one, but to be a value based on the state. So if we access our state, we've got, um, let me just go up here to where I declare it. So we've got this state called show forecast. So we wanna say this.state.showForecast. And if it's true, that means we want to bring it to zero. If it's false, we want it to be back at minus 200, which is off the screen. So we wanna do the same thing with opacity. If show forecast, we want it to be one. If it's not show forecast, we want it to be zero. So you never have to like do the animation. You just have to pass the correct value to spring. And in this case, we're saying if it's this, it's one, otherwise zero. And spring is the thing that figures out, okay, I'm at minus 200, but I gotta go to zero. Given some stiffness and damping, I'm gonna go and bring it over. So I reload here, slides in, cause we changed the state change the state again and it slides out. Slides and fades in, slides and fades out. So just to recap, after importing, we are using our motion component. We need to pass what are the default style values in object. We have to say, what do we want the current values to be? And you typically always use spring here so that it doesn't happen instantly but it, it sort of gradually changes from one value to another. And then what value it should be is often uh, determined by some state. So here we're using show forecast, where if that's true, we want it to come over to zero, uh, otherwise bring it back to minus 200. So once you got that set up, you need to pass a function here, which will take the current value of the style, and we need to return our component that we want to render. And we're going to use some inline styles here to set a transform translate X using the current value of the X value that we're animating. And here we're doing the same thing with opacity. So we've got our style dot opacity, which will update constantly this value here. And if we just quickly go in and do some inspect on this, 
So here you can see our inline styles, which is at zero right now and one. I click this, you're gonna see that it's constantly being updated. In and out, in and out, and that's being controlled by React Motion. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Have a great uh, weekend, great night, whatever, whenever you're watching this. Uh, take care, bye.